Hello, world! This is Bachelor Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile! Covenant of the Plume. There's only one thing left to do now, viewers, and that's continue on with the plot. So, let's get on with it already! Now, before you can continue on with the plot, or with the storyline, you absolutely need to make sure you've done the optional battles first, because, well, this is a no-turning-back point. Once you attend the palace, the chapter ends, so... Last chance? Okay, let's go. What could be so important? Valkyrie favored? Really? Hey, at least it's not Valkyrie flavor. Mmm, Valkyrie flavor ice cream. You could always just uh, deliver a carrier patient now, couldn't you? Jesters cannot grasp glory. Really now? Well, they don't actually tell us that. They go more into detail on Path B, remember that? Nicholas? That's not really a good example now, is it? I mean, come on. Wow, okay. I don't think he's gonna take that very well now, Bomber. Whoa! Of course not, of course he wouldn't take that pretty well. He's not really gonna let it go now, is he? I mean, a warrior can actually just deliver a speech to a nation, and... Well, then again, that's a hero, so... Whoa, what the hell? Did someone get stabbed? Oh, no. Wow. Well, it doesn't look like he's bleeding, so he should be fine. Dude, that's not fair. You're fighting with the living armor, and... You totally ran across him. That is totally not fair. Well, anyway, um, from the last battle, I want to change Loxball back to his magic bag over here. Yeah, 600 magic. That's crazy. And, yeah, we'll keep everything else the same. Actually, you know what? You go back to Dual Greaves, since you could use a defense. And there's really no terrain effect in this battle, so. And there's no hidden treasure, too, so. Let's get on with it. Let's do it! Now this battle... is actually very, very hard. It's one of the hardest battles in Path A, and, well... there's a lot of pressure running on at this battle, too. Hey, we get some new, uh... soundtrack here. Awesome. I like how the bass sounds like... the game is, like, whirring alongside with me, because, well, there's a lot of tension in this battle, since it's a rescue mission, so... It sounds like the bass is going... Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, yeah, you know what I mean? Holy shit, holy shit, or something like that. Okay, anyway, what do we have here? We have, uh, Brigands. And then Balmer, guess where he is? He's all the way on the other side of the map. Isn't that lovely? Well, anyway, he's actually the one and only, uh, rescue, rescuee that actually moves from once 
in the entire main game or in any of the paths whatsoever. He's the only rescue that will actually move. Considering that he's an archer too, because well, archers can't attack at close range, so they have to move to attack. So, well, anyway, you absolutely have to get to the other side as quickly as possible, because he's not going to last that long. Especially if the what is this? Yeah, especially if the elder vampire, vampire makes his move on him. Once he does, it's pretty much game over because you can't stop the, the normal vampire before it gets the elder vampire before it gets to him. So, first thing I want to do now is I want all my characters to dash to the other side. As fast, as fast as possible, and well, before I do that, I like to cast Suspend Motion on uh, this Brigand over here, because he has a movement of 5. Suspend motion. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure buying on this battle, because, well, you have to rescue Bomber. If he dies, it's game over, like, that rescue mission with Rosia there. Huh. Except this one has a really intense uh, soundtrack, so... I don't know, it just feels so intense. Yeah, make sure your character no dash because that will definitely come useful. Especially when you're trying to get to the other side. It's like, why did the chicken cross the road? If someone dies, they die. All that matters is that we get to the other side first and help Bomber because he's not gonna last that long. Only the willing need grace the field of battle. Huh. Yeah, not the best voice actor in my opinion. He said he actually sounds obese in my opinion. I don't know, the voice doesn't really fit him since He doesn't look that brave or strong, but anyway. Yeah, he's just gonna trade blows with the living armor here. And the living armor, let me tell you now, has a lot of attack, so you wanna get there as soon as possible. ASAP. And if someone dies on my party, though. Forget about them because well I can just easily bring them back with a Union Plume because well Union Plumes are the best. Oh another brigand? Lovely. Oh well. Yeah, I wanna move on to the I wanna move on to the left side of the map here first because well that's where majority enemies are and well they're not as much trouble as the Elder Vampire there, because if I aggro the normal va the Elder Vampire there, it's gonna, well, it's probably gonna move on to, uh, attack Bomber there, too, so. Alright, keep dashing, guys. We can make it. Alright, go over here. I don't think I have enough AP to cast a Suspect Motion on the other began here, so oh well. Or I could just use Mars Cry. That could really help. What? Oh right, yeah, I can't since I just use Dash. Alright, keep dashing. I never miss. That's always first priority. Well for this battle in general. Yeah, see how he moved there? Only Bomber can move out of all the rescues in the main game. So. Only the willing need grace the field of battle. Huh. Why are you an archer anyway? As well, like to know. Isn't the Lord of the House supposed to be more brave or more heroic or strong? In my opinion, archers really aren't that strong since they just snipe people from a distance like cowards. Gotta leave a mark. Unfortunately, I think it's the game, but well, they, the game is actually, I think, restricting Bomber from moving towards us because, well, I'm pretty sure if you move more than three steps, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you move more than two steps in one go, after all. You know what? Let's hit the archer here. If it poisons him, that'd be pretty nice. Oh well. If it poisons him, that'll be pretty nice since it it's gonna be long term. It's gonna keep uh, inflicting poison onto him, and it's gonna decrease his health fairly more. Oh, and one of the reasons why I want to go to the left side first was because I want I want to bait the enemies on the other side to come after me. I don't want to go from the right side first because there aren't that many enemies there. They won't get there in time too. 
Alright, you know what? We'll on him a little bit, why not? A little bit of counter damage will actually hurt. I mean, I am going to come back to these guys and kill them all after, after all, since there is a sin quota for this battle, and by the way, the recommended sin for this battle is 720 or more. I just forgot to mention that. I don't know, it's probably a bad habit. Well, I think we're kind of in the clearing now with Ushio, since he moved up so far ahead of us. Yeah, that's crazy. No, you know what? Yeah, keep moving your characters. Keep moving them. Just keep moving. If I was an actual rescuer, I wouldn't just sit on my ass over there and let the enemies actually wheel onto me now, would I? Since... Especially when I have the ability to freaking move! I don't know, I think the game like really restricts him from uh I moving towards miss. us. Like he can only move in a radius. See how he's moving around the living armor there? He didn't necessarily move towards us but attack. Hold fast the string of victory. Yeah. I like his third attack though. But he's a pretty weak archer. I never used him in Path B anyway. Since he sucks, so. Oh, yeah. Loxbow's really getting behind here, so. Well, I had to, uh. I lost three steps because I had to use suspend motion on the first brigand there, so. Oh well. Come on, Loxbell, poison him. Can you poison him? Poison blow. No, you can't? Okay, fine. These guys will never reach me in time. Yeah, see how they're all moving towards the left over there instead of moving towards the right there? I don't know. I don't know what's up with them, but, well. Oh, come on! Really now, dude? That's not really nice. But yeah, they're moving towards the left rather than uh, quartering us from the right there by moving closer towards Balmer. So. It's part of an NPC uh, script, so I wouldn't know too much about that. Actually, it's not a script about. It's just... It's just the way the NPCs were uh, programmed to actually move. So. Yeah, this is getting tiring now, isn't it? Since there's stairs we have to go down. Can't we just drop down from here like the good Final Fantasy Tactics characters we are? Your inner uh, Final Fantasy Tactics missed. syndrome is showing. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. Oh my god, please do not aggro the Elder Vampire there. Only the I almost said Noble, I don't know why, I just keep saying, like, Noble comes to mind, but in actuality, it's no, it's Elder. Wow, he just blocked off your taxes there, isn't that lovely? Wow. See how low health he is now? It's crazy. Oh wow, can't reach me now, huh? You will never reach me. Let's see. Oh! Jeez. That's not good. Your heart beats does Well, at least he's not using a basic attack, or he's not attacking normally. My normal beat. Oh, duh, that really sucks. All right. Well, I'm getting really close to him, so healing is definitely more important than actually uh, curing that staff element there. So, 